welcome to my channel again and today we're going to talk about self confidence now self and confidence first thing which i need to understand over here is the self so we're going to explore the self over here and then we're going to talk in this series about the do's and don'ts so as to maintain your self confidence throughout and the last thing which we're going to do is we're going to take an affirmation after concluding the whole episode and we're going to talk about that one affirmation in the end so keep watching till the end and think that affirmation before you sleep and once you get up early in the morning so what is self confidence now for example i'm sitting right in front of you over here and i'm sharing certain things with you obviously it's coming from experience it's coming from knowledge it's coming from the skill over here now to sit in front of you and to share certain things with you also needs confidence isn't it so not everybody can sit in front of a camera and express themselves So what does it take? It takes the belief and it takes the idea and it takes the skill to sit over here and share the things. But more important than that is one very crucial thing. That is I need to know what is my uniqueness or what am I gifted with? You see a lot of people spend a lot of their time to find out what they were what's over they're gifted with for some people they might find out early in their lifetime but for some people it takes a complete lifetime to realize what they have come to do on this earth now ask yourself that one simple question what is it that you can give to the world or what talent do you have or what skill do you have which you can actually share with the world it need not be on this platform of youtube it need not be on the television it could be in your neighborhood it could be in your society it could be in your family also so what value can you add because you are unique i need not tell you that every one of us who so is watching this and those who haven't watched this channel yet everybody is unique everybody has got a skill everybody has got a talent through which they can add value to somebody else's life and that when we do adding value to somebody's life is when we feel confidence you see ask yourself when you feel good when you're giving things to people or when you're taking things from people all the time you might say that yes getting things from people is also good but for how long so getting things from people makes you burdened but when you give to people that's what spirituality says that when you start giving to people that's when you feel happy so what skill do i have that i can share with people and i can increase my level of skills and knowledge in that so that i can feel or i can call that feeling of giving and feeling good as confidence because self means the soul and each soul is an energy and each soul has got something to give to this world there's nobody over here in this world who doesn't have a skill that they can give to somebody everybody is blessed now it might take me time to increase that skill set it might take some knowledge for me to improve that skill set for example i couldn't sit in front of the camera and explain to you these things i started 10 years back when i was giving a presentation and that's the time it was my first presentation and there were people looking right at the back they were standing right at the back at the end of the hall looking at me how i'm going to perform and that's when i started from point 1 and i was supposed to go to point 10 in a sequence and i went from point 1 to point 5 to point 3 to point 8 to point 7 i made a hot botch of the whole presentation and you imagine what would have been the expression of the people who knew the presentation obviously people who were sitting right in front of me knew nothing about the presentation for them it was a perfect one but people knew over there 
or that I had created a mess out of it. So what is confidence then? You see, I know what I'm talking about through my experience. I might be doing well or I am doing well right now in this presentation, in this video right now in front of you. But 10 days back, 15 days back, I was learning the skill to become better every single day. So God has given me something. I want to put it up in front of you. When I'm sharing and when I'm expressing myself to make your life better, it is indirectly improving my life also. Because when I'm expressing myself, I'm realizing who I am. First thing is I'm listening to myself and I'm improving my skills. So I'm improving my own life. So I'm unique. I've got skills. I can express them and I can increase my confidence. Do you have those skills? Find out what you're good at. You might be a student. You might be an adult. You might be an elderly person who's listening to this. And all of you have skills. You are gifted. Just that we think that we are going to be only acknowledged when we do something grand. I'm sorry to say, when we do small things for other people is when our self-confidence increases. It's not that we come onto the stage and talk in front of 10,000 people. It's when I talk to one person and I improve that person's life and that is where the first step of self-confidence increases. So I the self share myself with other people. And the second thing which I want to share with you is the don'ts. So when you're doing this, when you're adding value to somebody's life to increase your self-confidence, there are two things which are going to happen. First is you're going to get appreciation. And the second thing is you're going to get criticism. So when you get appreciation, if you're going to accept that appreciation and you're going to become hungry for that appreciation, then your self-confidence level is going to be like a mood swing. It is going to go up and down. Take the appreciation, accept it, but don't stop improving. And when it comes to somebody who's putting you down, that's the time when we need to realize that I need to be detached from the beginning itself whenever I'm doing something. Like for me, when I'm creating this video, I know I'm going to put it up on YouTube. And when I do that, I'm going to get some likes and I'm going to get some dislikes. So from the likes, if I become happy today, if I'm not detached, or let's say if I'm attached to that kind of outcome, obviously my mood is going to go up and down. So I need to be completely in love with what I do, irrespective of what people say. So love is very important for self-confidence. Only when you do things for others, not to get something in return. Remember, we are talking about giving, not getting in return. When you do something to give, only then your confidence rises up. That's the time you are not hungry for any kind of appreciation from others and even the dislikes don't affect you because you know that you have experience and you know that you want to give something and you love to give. So one more thing in the don'ts which is connected to this is when somebody is disapproving you or putting you down, don't go ahead and put them down. Never do that because if you can't appreciate then you shouldn't even put anybody down because when you put somebody down, you're actually imbibing a bad quality. You're negating yourself. You're spending a lot of time in putting people down and focusing on improving your skill, improving your knowledge. Never do that because that's going to put your self-confidence down. You're going to create a imbalance in your aura. You're going to create a imbalance in your energies. Never do that. So let's wrap this up with one affirmation. Let's sit in a meditative position and this affirmation is like a meditation. Think to yourself that I am a unique being. I am blessed to give something to this world. I have come here to add value to people's life. I am exploring that as I go along in life. I take it as a challenge to find out whatsoever I am gifted with, a God's gift which needs to be shared with everybody. And when I share, it increases, whether it be a talent, whether it be a skill. And no matter what, what people think or say, I love what I do and I'll keep on sharing it. Thank you so much. Be in peace. Bye-bye.